All right, so welcome to another edition of the LinkedIn Mastery Course group call. Today so happy to be here, everybody. It's the final day of May. May the, is that right? Yeah, right, May 31st today. And, and what we're gonna do right now is we are going to give you a sneak peek. And the sneak peek is a new module that we're working on, but we want to uh, answer any questions about it. It's for a little plugin called Duck Soup, and that's spelled D-U-X dash S-O-U-P. And uh, this is something that actually your cousin turned me on to, uh, Jason Womack. Interesting, well, it sounds delicious. <laughs> so, uh, so what basically what it does is it's a small plugin that goes into Chrome. It's only for Chrome. You have to use the Chrome browser. If you're using Internet Explorer, Safari, or Firefox, it will not really work at all. So let me show you just a little bit about what it does because it's kind of unique. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. All right. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, so here is my screen right here. So first of all, Duck Soup does a number of things. So first of all, we've got the little duck icon up here and it says Duck Soup Starter Edition. I'm using what's known as the freemium version of it. Freemium meaning that they have a free version and of course they wanna get you hooked so you upgrade, which I'm going to be doing here momentarily uh, when, because I just realized how powerful the software is. So here is my profile right here. Now, first of all, what it does right here is it says uh, duck, duck soup tricks, your tags. So you can add tags like uh, maybe uh, uh, tag it with uh, CEO, <coughs> or I can also oh, add uh, other tags like uh, founder. Or industry-based too. Could be, yep. uh, could be a marketer, could be a consultant, could be a retail yep. professional. Right, so basically you could go back and search for these particular tags later. And this is really good if you're doing any type of prospecting. Next thing is your notes. You can add uh, when you talk to them or uh, if you sent any information to them. Uh, so these two things are really great. They used to be part of the free LinkedIn uh, account. They, it was a great little uh, thing that I, I discovered. They kind of added it for about a year and then I was bummed when they took it away, but basically it does the same sort of thing, but now you have to be part of Sales Navigator in order to uh, get that. So um, now that's one part of Duck Soup. The other part is this. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Justin's. There is his uh, profile. You notice right up here, it says Duck Soup got profile. And so what Duck Soup has done, it, it, it has gone in and created the data directly from here. And then if I go to Duck Soup right here, I could search by tag, but I can also download the data. And what the data is, is if you start visiting a bunch of people with the same job title, like CEO or something like that, then what will happen is uh, it will capture that and develop a uh, spreadsheet for you in, uh, in, in like Excel. So then you have a whole database of people and you have their direct information and it's all right there in a, uh, in a spreadsheet. Very, very uh, yep. cool. But you can't, of course, you can't uh, use it unless you uh, go pro. So going pro, here's the pro edition. Uh, it pops up just like this. When you go into the Chrome web store, you do it the same way, add to Chrome, look for duck soup, and then I could buy it for $14.95 a month. But luckily, there is a 30-day free trial on there. If you go back, click on that again. If you highlight the text there, it even outlines it. It says in the text down there, you can try the pro version risk-free for oh, 30 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, not 30 days. Oh. Oh, 30 minutes. That was uh, my mistake. I thought I actually thought it said 30 days. Well, there you go. They, they don't need to because it's such a powerful plugin. Now, I'm going to go here to uh, the main page. Here's the Duck Soup main page. Uh, and they, uh, you know, it, 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 this is basically the sales price. There's a free version and then uh, the 15 a month version. Now, I'm going to tell you the, 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 the thing that really makes this amazing, okay? Because there is one thing that makes this little service 
absolutely phenomenal. And what that is, is it's a, uh, a, a tiny thing, and I can't do it right now, unfortunately, because I've already done it. But basically what will happen is when you visit profiles, you hit this little uh, thing here. So I'm gonna hit options and it's gonna take me here. What it does is it automates the level of uh, different profiles you can visit. So basically what that means is that if I go back over here and let's say that I want to sell a CEO a website, right? So I'm going to hit CEO and it's, I'm going to hit people. And if you notice here, all these people are uh, CEOs. A lot of them are in my main network. So I would just go over here and go to third. These are people outside of my uh, network. And then what I can do, see this little green thing that shows up and says duck soup at your service. Well, I'm going to click on that. And what it's going to do is it's going to take me over to uh, the duck soup icon. It turns green and then I can visit profiles. So when I hit this button, visit profiles, uh, it will start auto visiting. And uh, uh, it, it asked me, would you like DuckSoup to look for email addresses other than your first degree connections? I'm going to hit yes. So now this is going to go again into those databases that I can output as a spreadsheet. And then I'm going to hit OK. And what that's going to do is it's going to start going through all of these people one by one. See this visiting and it starts to visit these pages. So what will happen is it will pause for three seconds and then it will visit another page. And so by doing this, what happens is if I go over to uh, my profile, right? I'm gonna go over to my profile. I'm just gonna let that run in the background. And the freemium version will only let you do a hundred of these. After a hundred, it'll cut you off per day. But the reason why that's important is this little section right here. Who's viewed your profile? If I click on that, what I'll see is that there's these different people, startup specialists. He looked at my profile, right? And if he looked at my profile, that means that I could probably connect with him because, uh, you know, he has, uh, he's already seen me. And so what will happen is if somebody sees that you're looking at their profile on a regular basis, they'll probably want to know why. Like, why is this guy looking me up? Like, what's going on? It adds a sense of mystery to you and your face keeps popping up in their stream. So a lot of people look at who, who's viewed your profile. You know, I've got this guy, he's like stalking me. He's, <laughs> he's my, like, this guy looks at my profile more than anybody. It's, it's like, true. It's kind of it's weird. True. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's, it's also true that when you visit these profiles and they see your picture there, you're kind of warming up the relationship. So when you, if you do end up kind of uh, sending what I'll call a cold email to that person or a cold message, it's going to be a little bit warmer than it would had they never seen your face. That's right. So it's, That's uh, right. It does warm the relationship a little bit there. Now, if you go back into Duck Soup, uh, you also had the option of auto endorsing people for their first three skills or their- That uh, is correct. And I'm so glad you, uh, you brought that up. So I'm going to hit options again here. And right here, so let's just go over the options really quickly. You know, automatically endorse the top three skills. So I'm going to click that. Right. I will, I will so, just add, though, if uh, when I get endorsed by people, I do tend to click and look back at their profile if they endorse me. So it, make, it makes sense that by doing this, you're going to get a lot of profile views um, and it'll be automated. Now, you might be asking, why do we care if a bunch of people are viewing our LinkedIn profile? Well, the reason is that the LinkedIn algorithm uh, actually puts value to profiles that are getting more traffic. So if you are getting a lot of views, LinkedIn sees you as a more important person in the LinkedIn community, and they're gonna increase your algorithm, which will then increase your search ranking, which will then help your profile become more prominent and more easily accessible uh, to other people. So uh, it, we're kind of gaming the LinkedIn system here, uh, but this definitely will increase the value of your profile and it'll make you a top uh, sought after search results if, uh, if, you, if people are engaging with your profile. That's right, because if it, if it shows that people are coming to your page a lot and visiting a lot, there's obviously some value that you have. So the more that that happens, the better that's going to be for you in the long run. So again, just to recap, Duck Soup is going to be mostly if you're doing sales prospecting through LinkedIn. So again, 
just to, to sum up the highlights of what it does, it gives you the ability to tag who these people are. So you can make basically searchable lists or searchable like ways that you can find people. You could take notes when you sent them an inf some information. So it's all right there built into it. You can also uh, then hit the duck soup uh, uh, panel right here. And if you go into it, you'll be able to uh, just going, whoops, going over here, you'll be able to automatically look at people's portfolio or uh, profiles over and over again, all day long, thousands of people you'll be looking at and, and endorsing. And then they'll go but in change, look at you. And so as you grow your network with specific people that are going to help you, like in my case, I want to talk to the, to the CEOs. I want to talk to the, to the chief marketing officer. I want to talk to some of these people who are within this company so I can do those searches directly through Duck Soup and just start looking at people who are like the, 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 the chief marketing officer of that particular company. And so if I keep looking at all the chief marketing officers of all the companies, so again, I'm going to look up uh, chief marketing officer. Did I spell that right? Uh, not chief. You're right. Chief not is chief. definitely not spelled correctly. But you know what? Uh, that the, there it has uh, AI that knows what I what I actually meant. So it's smarter than me. Um, so these are the chief marketing off, uh, officers. And then you know if I hit again, the little duck soup green thing, and I hit visit profiles, it's going to start going down this list and connecting with every single person. It's not going to connect with them, but you know, uh, a lot of these people are not in my uh, network currently. But if I'm going to like this guy's profile and looking at him, and then I'm endorsing, you know, the first three or five things that are on here, then all of a sudden he is going to, I'm going to pop up in this guy's radar. And next thing you know, I'm going to uh, have possibly a conversation with him. Hey, uh, I just took a look at your uh, website. I see that it might need some help. Uh, you know, I don't want to be too pushy, but uh, I, I, I just connected with you on LinkedIn. I wanted to see what you do. So if you want some advice about that, uh, please, you know, let me know. Uh, I'll, I'd love to talk with you about it for free. You know, just, just, the other thing I just want to add real quick is yeah. that when you're visiting profiles, you're actually, you're also more likely to have people request to connect to you. So you're going to, by doing this, you're going to get a lot of people connecting to you. So you're, uh, and then that way that also kind of warms up the relationship too, because they're the ones that connected to you, not vice versa. So you're kind of, uh, Again, exactly. And you know what, game. one of the things I really like about this um, uh, also is that, as I always say, I never connect with anybody who doesn't have a profile picture. So uh, there is a little button here that allows you to, um, you know, I'm going to auto endorse the top five people and uh, I'm going to skip uh, the visit when the photo is blank. And then it, uh, I can skip, you know, uh, different days. So there's different variables that you could do, but uh, basically, again, it just puts your name out there. It gets, it gets people. Uh, no, stay, stay here, go back there. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to, to share too that um, they, they actually have tailored this. Uh, if you go to visiting speed down there, mm -hmm. tailored it so that if you have a free account, it is pretty much defaulted to uh, between 50 and 150 profile visits per hour. And they've kind of uh, figured out the algorithm so that they're not going to freeze you up. Um, and you can kind of read that red warning there. It says uh, changing that setting to higher than your LinkedIn subscription could lead to LinkedIn blocking your account due to excessive profile visiting. So if you have a free account, you're going to want to keep it on that random 50 to 150 per hour, but click on that drop down. Because if you have like sales navigator or something big, you can go over 500 per hour or even 300 per hour. And you can really crank it up a bit um, depending yeah. what your LinkedIn account will allow. But you don't ever want to do that on, I mean, because we've had a few people that have froze, uh, have had their accounts uh, temporarily, the search is temporarily stopped for the, uh, for the remainder of a month. Um, but so you don't want to, you don't want to do this. Uh, you don't want to get your account, um, your search feature blocked for, you know, a, a 15, 20 day period. You're better off just kind of taking it slow, doing this over time. Or if you upgrade and you pay the, um, well, how much do you pay Andres? Uh, for the, the, the sales or just the job seeker? 
the job seeker. Twenty nine ninety nine, which so, includes LinkedIn Learning. Yeah. So if you pay the twenty nine ninety nine, or you pay the seventy nine ninety nine for Sales Navigator, um, then you're going to be able to to search. Right. Uh, 500 per hour. So, you know, on, on the one hand, it may seem that a uh, hundred dollars a month, roughly for these two services together, duck soup and uh, sales navigator, let's say it seems pretty expensive, but if, you know, out of a given month, it leads to maybe five or six closes of, uh, you know, our services because I've set up some form of relationship. Uh, it's actually very well worth it. In fact, uh, I'm about to upgrade my membership to the sales navigator and then I'll do a, an entire uh, video on that. But, but if I, one, if it leads to one sale, it's worth it because yeah. I mean, really you, uh, if it leads to one sale, I imagine anybody's sale, you should be making close to a hundred dollars. I would hope, um, or maybe, you know, at least a handful there. But I mean, like as long as you're breaking even, Keep doing it because you're ultimately building your brand. You're, you're building your equity in the situation because you're you're creating relationships. And some of these right. sometimes pan out six months later. Um, so don't just because you're not closing sales right in the beginning. Don't forget that when you're reaching out to people and you're building the pipeline, um, as long as you're following up, a lot of this stuff can compound later on. Absolutely, absolutely, and and especially as you grow your network, because you know if if. Uh, as we talked about, you know, producing content on a regular basis, especially if you automate, automate it, if somebody goes to my profile, they're going to look at all the content that I've been posting. They're going to look at, you know, and I'm not doing a heck of a lot of it. I've automated most of it, but it looks like I'm very, very active on LinkedIn. And, uh, you know, what's really awesome, I'm just going to take you, this is going to be a different module that we're going to teach, but I just wanted to, sh to demonstrate one thing which was really amazing is that if I go to um, my, uh, my profile here and I look at um, the, uh, see all my activity right here, ta-da, I could see that, uh, you know, these are, you know, I've got 27 views on this, 41 views on this, 38 views on this, 102 views on this. This all adds up. You know, what was the 102 one? Go back up there. Uh, that was affiliate marketing, the best three spy tools for Facebook, mobile, native ads. Look at ads. that. Look wow. at that. We're going to have to take advantage of that. Yeah, later. I'm, I'm actually, I, I, what did I post? I, it looks like I'm posting something very interesting here. <laughs> Let's not spend a ton of time on it. Uh, but look at that. You got Charles, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, NGO. But, you know, this is powered by Push Crew, so that is something that we may want to look into. Wow, look at this. This is, the, this is a marketing genius right here, whoever put oh, this. this is, I thought that was a LinkedIn pop-up. That's actually the pop-up from the website. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, something called Push Crew. I guess we're going to have to, yeah, we'll investigate that later. We love, we love learning about these tools because sometimes we've come across things that are just like unbelievably good and can well, really- Well, uh, and the, the latest craze, which I'm sure some of you have already heard about, some of you will be hearing about it very soon if you haven't, is the Facebook Messenger bot. And you'll be seeing a lot of these websites that are putting on these Facebook Messenger bots with artificial intelligence that will uh, essentially act, it'll act like a lead generation campaign so it'll, it, the messenger bot will be asking for your name and email address and delivering some kind of piece of value instead of you clicking the landing page like the old fashioned model. So the, uh, the, the newer trend right now is moving toward these Facebook automated messenger bots on your website. And so again, uh, if you haven't heard of it yet, you'll be seeing them more and more and more at the end of 2017, early 2018 too. And, and just, uh, just for the record, Justin and I are putting together a Facebook marketing course uh, where we're going to go over all of this stuff, including how to set up campaigns and do A-B testing and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. So, you know, once you're, you've mastered the LinkedIn methods that we're teaching, uh, then you'll be able to rock the, uh, the other end of it for the consumer side, and then you will be unstoppable. That's right. <laughs> and then uh, we, uh, we did upload a new video this week on advanced content marketing. So if you haven't had a chance to look at that yet, I would highly suggest you watch it. It's about 27 minutes long, but it's full of value. It's jam packed. We even had to edit it. We had to cut it down a little bit. It was longer than 27 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and we, then, cover, we, uh, we cover things like Google News Alerts, Google Trends, Twitter Trends. Um, we teach you how to use BuzzSumo to, to see what kind of articles are being shared on social media. 
uh, including LinkedIn or Facebook or, uh, or even Google Plus or Twitter. Uh, and then we also uh, show you a little bit about YouTube trends and we get into Reddit marketing and how you can uh, get on top of uh, Reddit campaigns. And th the whole concept of that video is teaching you how to get in front of viral content so that you're sharing it before, I mean, while it's on the rise. And, uh, and, and so basically you're positioning yourself to get a whole lot more shares. And if you actually create original content around what's already trending, you have the potential for your own original content to go viral this way. You're, you're positioning Absolutely. yourself for virality. Is that a word? It, it is now because you just used it. Virality. And I got what you meant. So uh, yeah, and, and uh, that, that was fun. In fact, you know, as it's so jam packed, at some point, we're probably gonna have to break it down into different I know, segments. I was, I was thinking that. Because that's a, it's a big video. There's a lot of information. Minutes, it's a lot. Uh, we might, yeah, we might piece that out eventually. But for now, it's one big chunk. You know, take off, take off a day. Watch and, a um, video. And then sneak watch it peek. minute by minute. <laughs> <laughs> sneak peek of the, the, the next thing that's going up uh, is I am going to put together an overview of the job navigator, uh, which is uh, where the level I'm at right now. So I, I can show you all the features of that. And then when I upgrade to the sales navigator, uh, and, then we'll... Yeah. Uh, although this was a pretty comprehensive video on Duck Soup, I think we will have a separate video that will go into the actual membership site as well so uh we will we will reshoot this pretty much for that and you guys should show up on these calls uh because we had what do we have here nobody here today to if you know we're, we're offering uh your questions can be answered if you're the only one on the call then the floor is yours so we That's really right. encourage you to be here um you know i mean andres and i are getting paid uh one company's paying us uh, what a hundred dollars an hour just to talk about LinkedIn with them. That's just one component of what we're doing. Yeah. Um, so take advantage of it because um, it's uh, there is value here, and we uh, we want you to succeed. We want you to have a good testimonial story for us, uh, so that more people want to uh, want to learn from this program. So yeah. uh, anyway, with that, I think we're going to wrap up early. It's about. Uh, well, we were around for about 26 minutes or so yeah, here. Almost a half hour. So, almost so, a half hour, but it's good content. But if we don't have content. questions, then we go a little shorter. So, Anyway, thank you so much, uh, everybody. And please contact us if you have any questions or concerns. We are here for you. There we go. I got to look at the camera when I do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't look at the, uh, the monitor. All right. All right. Um, so we, with that, we will wrap it up. Uh, again, this was the 31st of May. And uh, so the next, next week's call will be on June the 3rd. So June 3rd and then June 10th. And that, those are the final two. So we have two more of these group calls. And then uh, that'll be it for the group calls. So each of you... Um, that hasn't claimed it already, you get a one hour one on one or two on one with Andres and myself. Um, so if you haven't claimed it already, uh, send us an email. You can send it to j at coachingbizmastery.com or to um, what's your email address? Andres at starchild.us. Yeah, so send one of us an email, request the one hour consultation. We'll get you booked, we'll knock that out. And we look forward to serving you. Okay. <laughs> I'm calling it. And we're off. We're not off. It's still recording. You got it. Of course it's recording. I'm not going to turn it off right there.